This is amazing. What if you can fine tune Mistral 7 billion parameter model with Alpaca dataset? This is a dataset used for instruction fine tuning. And what if you can use a easy fine tuning framework such as Ludwig? That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Ludwig. We can fine tune a large language model such as Mistral, Oka, or any other things. So this is used to build custom modules with ease. It is a low code framework. It is optimized for scale and efficiency. It has expert level control. It is modular and extensible, and it's engineered for production. So we are going to use this tool to train our Mistral model. So this is the graphic card which I'm using, and this is my computer spec, just for your reference. First, I'm going to install Ludwig, Ludwig LLM, and then PEFT, and click Enter. I'm installing using pip. Next, we are going to create a file called app.py and then let's open it. Inside the file, first import OS, then YAML, then logging for logging, Ludwig model. Then we are going to use hugging face token, which is used to download the model. Now we're going to define the Ludwig configuration, model type LLM, and we are defining Mistral 7 billion version 0 0.1. And the quantization is four bits. Next, we are going to use the LoRa adapter Next, prompt template. Next, we are providing the input features. Prompt text pre-processing max sequence length. Next, going to define the output features. Name output type text and max sequence length. Then providing trainer. Type is fine-tuned. Learning rate is this. Batch size is one. You can give more batch size, but just for this tutorial purpose, I'm going to give batch size as one and number of epochs as one so that I can finish the tutorial quickly. Next, pre-processing, sample ratio I'm giving us 0.1. So these are just the configuration which we are defining for Ludwig. Next, I'm going to load the config using safe load. Now we're going to train the model. So defining the model with Ludwig configuration, and then we are providing the model.train dataset. So here we are providing Alpaca. As we have seen before, Alpaca is a instruction following data set. By default, the large language model which we are using is good for completion. So when you start a sentence, it can complete for you. But to make it to follow instruction, you need to fine tune with instruction following data. That's where we use Alpaca. So now we can save the model, model.save and then results. That's it. With only these amount of lines of code, you are able to train the Mistral 7 billion parameter model with Alpaca dataset. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, make sure you export your Hugging Face API key. That is the token, and then click Enter. Next, we are going to run Python app.py, and then click Enter. I think there's an issue with the formatting, the number of tabs, so I'm going to go to the code. So here I can see I have given only few spaces, and here it's longer. So I need to format this again to make sure this is a proper YAML format. So now I have reformatted this, to make sure it is proper YAML format. If you want help with this step, you can even ask ChatGPT, quick and easy. Coming back to the terminal, I'm going to run Python app.py and then click enter. And here I can see the configuration getting loaded. For quantization, we are using four bits. We are using LoRa adapter, and we can see the dataset statistics here. Training, the number of rows, validation, and test. And here you can see loaded hugging face implementation of Mistral 7 billion parameter model. Totally 7 billion parameter, and we are training only 3 million parameter. Here you can see the training is going on. This might take time based on your computer size. While the test is running, I want to show you a few things. So by default, Mistral 7 billion parameter model, when you type something like this and click compute, it will continue the text. This is called completion. For example, if I describe the structure of an atom and click compute, then it won't reply me with the answer. It'll complete the sentence. But we want to make this model to reply with answers. So this is the Alpaca dataset, which you can see from Hugging Face. So here the instruction is describe the structure of an atom and the output will be like an atom is made up of a nucleus. So now we are teaching our large language model how to respond to questions. That is called instruction following. That's exactly what we are doing now, training our large language model Mistral to make sure 
it follows our instruction rather than just completing the sentence. We are half the way through. Now the training is going to finish, 99%. It took nearly 12 minutes for me. Now it's evaluation. Now it print out few examples. So here the input is, what are the main ingredients of guacamole recipe? And it responded with guacamole recipe or includes avocados, lime juice, lemon juice, garlic. That's good. Now you can see, rather than completing the sentence, it's responding with an answer. Describe how data is encoded and decoded. And here it's explaining the process. Now it's evaluation test. Now we got the results. Train, validation and test. You can see the loss, then training 100% done. And the validation metric we used is loss. Best models validation loss is 1.1. Best model test loss is 1.2. And finally, we are saving that in this folder and it is finished. I'm really excited about this. Now, finally, I'm going to save this in Hugging Face. To do that, I'm going to mention python-m ludwig.upload Hugging Face Hub and providing the repo ID, present slash and the name of the model. Then providing the model path. That is exactly what we see here. Result slash API experiment run three. Now I'm going to click enter. Now it's getting uploaded. Model uploaded to Hugging Face. Now I'm going to open that Hugging Face URL. And here is the model which we have just trained. Now you can use this model in your own application. This is just a basic tutorial, but you can include your own data, own way of fine tuning the large language model. And there are many things such as underfitting, overfitting, which I haven't covered here, but these are required to get a better performance for your model. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.